Aerosols in the Stratosphere. This presentation will look at the effects of aerosols in the stratosphere, their impacts, solutions to the problem, and much more. About aerosols. So, what is it? Well, aerosols are tiny solid or liquid particles suspended in air or as a gas. They can be natural, such as fog or gas from things such as volcanic eruptions, the ocean, um, the burning of forest fires, etc. Or they can be artificial, such as smoke from the burning of fossil fuels. Where do they come from? Well, aerosols come from urban and industrial emissions, smoke from biomass burning, secondary formation um, from aerosol precursors, sea salt, dust, and much more. In the next clip, you will be able to watch a short, about 40 second video about what aerosols are further and just kind of a fun little drawing about them. This is an aerosol particle. In real life, you could barely see it. It's just a little speck suspended in the atmosphere anywhere from a few days to several years. It could be dust from a desert or salt from ocean spray. It could have been blasted out of a volcano or created during a forest fire. It might have flown out of a factory smokestack or a truck's tailpipe. Depending on what it is and where it is, an aerosol particle can do some impressive things, like cool the planet by reflecting sunlight back into space or by collecting water vapor to build a cloud. On the other hand, some aerosol particles trap sunlight and heat the air, thus preventing clouds from forming. Other aerosols can host chemical reactions that damage the ozone layer. This is just a little image of the stratosphere where aerosols are primarily located in, um, in comparison to the mesosphere and the troposphere um, of the Earth. So as you can see in the stratosphere, commercial airplanes usually fly at a low level in the, in the stratosphere, so that just kind of gives you an idea of where aerosols are usually located. So as this image kind of pans down, you can see some of the sources of stratospheric aerosols. So starting at the mesosphere, you have meteoritic dust, which kind of travels into the stratospheric aerosol layer, um, and it kind of gets suspended there in a way, as you can see in the blue kind of ombre layer there. And then as you pan to the bottom, you can see things such as the burning of fossil fuels. You can see, as I mentioned previously, volcanic eruptions and many other things that contribute to that suspension of the stratospheric aerosol layer. So now we will dive into the human impacts, the environmental impacts, and then the economic impacts of aerosols. So in terms of human impacts, there are actually many. So as we know, aerosols are tiny particles emitted during fossil fuel combustion, and they can be inhaled. As a result, they can cause many different health effects, such as asthma, respiratory infections, lung cancer, heart disease, and a limited visibility as well. In terms of environmental impacts, aerosol particles can affect the Earth's climate very largely, um, and they can do so by changing the size or lifetime of water droplets inside clouds. They can reflect incoming sunlight back to outer space, and in the video that you watched, the 40 second video, it actually showed positively and negatively how that can affect outer space. And then as well, they can change the amount of heat that gets in or out of the atmosphere, which can be both good and bad. So in terms of economic impacts, um, aerosol emissions are very dangerous to human health, but by cooling the earth, they can also diminish global economic inequality. In addition, allocating funds towards helping remove such aerosols from the stratosphere will also impact the economy. So what can be done about the problem now that we know all the causes and kind of what aerosols are? Well, they can be reduced by thermal, biological, and physical as well as chemical exhaust air treatment processes. And then another good way to address the problem is a thing called stratospheric aerosol injection. And this is actually a proposed method of solar geoengineering to reduce global warming and can also not solve but help the aerosol issue that we are currently facing. And lastly, I have a proposed essay question that says, discuss the process of which aerosols reach the stratosphere. 
as well, what effect do such aerosols have directly on the Earth once they have reached the stratosphere?